When you're working in a domain environment, oftentimes you'll have multiple accounts that have different levels of privileges. So you'll have your regular user account that you log in to your terminal with and it lets you browse the internet, look at email, all that good stuff. But if you want to do anything to remote machines or servers, then you need to use your account that has elevated privileges or domain level administrative privileges. And you can start up different programs using that account using the GUI you can hold shift and then right click and say start this program as a second as a different user and blah 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 but it's a lot easier to automate it using these two simple bits here and the first is the run as command which is just a program on the machine that will let you run programs as a different user account then there's a little bit of batch code that is wrapped around it. So let me show you something really quick. We're gonna look at the environment variable username and you'll see that I'm logged into this PowerShell session as the user furnace. Now, if I want to, we'll say that that's my regular user account. Let's say that I wanna start a PowerShell console as my domain administrative account so that I can do things like CD using an unk path so that it looks like I'm sitting at a different computer and searching through its file system at the console. You can't do that if you don't have the privileges. So this batch file, when I run it, if I can find it, prompts me, what would you like, what environment would you like? I'm going to select PowerShell. Now it asks me, what is the password for the user, Mr. PowerScripts, on computer Super Beamer. So I will put in the password and it will start up a new PowerShell session. And when I look at the environment variable, username, you'll see that it's now running under that Mr. PowerScripts user account. So let's look at the script. Here, we pretty much have our little menu that gets bat out onto the screen. Then we're using the set uh, command, which basically lets you set variables. And it has this parameter called dash P, which lets the user prompt for input. And it will assign that input to this variable that I have named choice. So equals, and then you give it a little message. So I said, select the environment and it assigns whatever the user enters there to this variable. Then I'm using the if statement and I'm checking the variable to see which option the user chose. So I chose two, so it uses run as, it has a user um, parameter. You have to give it the domain name, but since I'm not in a domain environment, I have to give it my computer name. If you were in a domain, you would put your domain name here and then you would put your uh, domain administrative uh, privileged account and then you just point to a program that you would like to start under that account. So I'm using the winder variable, which uh, is a, a variable in, in batch that expands to the Windows directory, system32, Windows PowerShell, calling PowerShell.exe. And that's pretty much it. Then if, this, if there's an error message, the reason I put this is that sometimes you'll type in the password wrong and I wanted it to stop and show you the error message so that you can say, oh, I typed it in wrong. And, you know, maybe you're having a password issue and that's why it's not working. Otherwise, this batch file will just close and the new um, console that you've chosen will start up. Now, you can add other programs in here as well. It's just that I just use uh, these consoles and the PowerShell console a lot so that I can uh, like CD into remote machines or run my PowerShell scripts um, against remote machines and I don't have any issues with accessing them because I'm using my domain administrative account. And this way, um, you know, you're, you're not uh, invoking any security issues because it's something that you can just, you know, pop open, do what you need to do and then close it out and you're back in your safe user um, level uh, Windows environment where where it doesn't have those privileges. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, using a little bit of batch and the run as program to start up programs as a different user. That's it.
Thanks for watching.